Hello singers, I'm Sophie Shear. Today we are talking about support. Okay, what's the deal with support? Everyone talks about it. What does it even mean? Quite frankly, I hate that term. Hate it, can't stand it, never use it. The reason is because it absolutely makes no sense. I really tend to stick to advice that either makes sense or even if it doesn't make sense at first, it can be explained in a way that your brain understands it. If your brain doesn't get it, how can it be usable for you? Okay, support. People say, use more support, use more support, give it more support, use your diaphragm, all this stuff. And you're like, okay, ah, and you're worried about what that means. You're trying to engage whatever this random piece of the body that they're talking about is, and you totally forget how to sing. So let's break it down. What most people mean when they say support. What they're trying to get you to do is to push using your stomach muscles and your pelvic muscles. They're trying to get you to push down, okay? If they're talking about the diaphragm, it's, it's of no use to you. Your diaphragm has one job. It expands your rib cage so that the lungs can take in air and then it squishes the air back out of the lungs, okay? So if you're worried about breathing from your diaphragm or pushing with your diaphragm, don't. You cannot not breathe with your diaphragm. That's the only way to breathe. And your, your diaphragm is functioning for breathing whether or not you're aware of it. It happens when you sleep. Okay, it's a perfectly natural thing that as soon as you start thinking about it becomes unnatural. So don't worry about that. Pushing from your diaphragm, impossible. You can't really uh, think hard enough to control your diaphragm muscle. It's just one of those things that happens automatically, kind of like your intestines or whatever. You can't really think hard enough to make your intestines do something, okay? As much as we would like to at times. Okay, so let's get back to the real meaning of the word support. People often say you have to use a supported voice. What that really means is that your vocal cords have to squeeze inwards enough to catch and snap closed and produce noise. Some people have trouble with doing this too much. So if these represent the vocal cords, I'll show you. We can go too much compression or too much support. Ah! They're just way too squeezed. My sound is labored uh, tight. It makes me tired to listen to singers like that, okay? On the flip side, it, these are the vocal cords again, and I can have too little compression or too little support. <sighs> Where it's all breath. They kind of disconnect a little bit. They're more open than they are closed. So the stomach and the pelvic muscles can help you find the right level of compression for the right note. So keep in mind that the level of compression or support is going to change for different notes. The higher you go through your mixed voice, the more compression you'll add. The lower you go, you won't need it quite as much. Okay, so let's try this. Ma, 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 ma. So this is still fairly low in my range here. You'll notice that I'm not really using a whole lot of <sighs> squeeze or push, okay? My stomach muscles are not really engaging much here because I'm basically in chest voice. All right, as I sing a little higher, Ma, 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 Right there on the top two notes, but mostly the top note, I'm engaging some to kind of give me some, as people say, support. Ma, 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 ma. So I'm lifting on that pressure on the bottom notes because I don't need it. If I used a lot of pressure for the entire exercise, it would just sound too labored. Ma, 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 ma. And then my top note would be even more pressured, much more pressured than it needs to be. So I'm only slowly engaging that pressure little bit by little bit as I approach that top note. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, ma, ma. Again, if I waited till the very, very end to use all of that pressure, it would sound very disconnected. Ma, 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 ma. And I probably wouldn't be able to really make it work with the rest of the notes in that scale or the rest of the notes in that song, okay? So try this slow ramping up. You can even find either the arm on a chair or a bench or a desk or something to kind of use with your hand to kind of help connect to that part of your body. Push down as you approach that top note with your hand. So it kind of shows your lower body what to do. Ma, 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 
can push a little harder. Again, not too much, because we don't want it to sound labored. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, ma, ma. If I want a lighter volume, then I can just push a little less. Ma, 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 ma. But on all of those examples, I'm still using some compression, as we call it, or support, to engage the chords a little bit cleaner on those top notes. So you can try this in this exercise and then put it into your favorite song. For instance, the melody of Sugar by Maroon 5. You can say, Mama, 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 Mama. So on those top notes, I'm engaging just a little more compression to help me kind of over the hump. Mama, minimal pressure here. Mama, 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 sugar, yes, please. Won't you come and put it down on me? There you go. Have fun with that one. Be sure to subscribe here to get all the new vocal tips coming out. And connect with me on Twitter and Facebook at Sophie Shear. So, the vocal cords. I'm ready now.